If you want to add some life to your desktop, Wallpaper Engine is one of the best apps that you can download, but it might not be as straightforward as you think to use it. My name is Yadullah. You're watching Candidate Technology, and in this video, we're just going over some general fixes that you can try out if Wallpaper Engine isn't working on your system. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fire up Steam, head over to our library. Then we're going to find wallpaper engine in here, right click and then we're going to click on properties. In here under the general tab, uh, under the selected launch options, uh, you will see a bunch of things. Now if you have a 32 bit uh, system, uh, make sure that you launch wallpaper engine and if you have a 64 bit engine, you launch the wallpaper engine 64 bit version which might use more RAM but will give you better stability. This also varies from system to system. For example, on my system, it just runs fine without having to pick any version. But uh, your mileage may vary. So if you have a 64-bit uh, operating system, use 64-bit, otherwise use 32-bit. Next up, it's also a good idea to head over to installed files now that you're here and verify integrity of software files. This basically checks that all of the files that wallpaper engine needs to run are installed on your system and are up to date so there's no disturbances between them and uh, just does a regular sanity check for the files and can fix any problems if you have them so the next thing that you can do is allow wallpaper engine to go through your antivirus now i use windows security so um, wallpaper engine can go through just fine but it can still get caught in the firewall now to prevent that, we're going to click on uh, firewall and network protection and then I'm going to click on allow an app through firewall. This will open up uh, the allowed app settings in my firewall and I'll just scroll down to find wallpaper engine in the list. Uh, it's right here and as you can see uh, it's enabled on both private and public connections if this is not the case with you just click on this change settings button up there and make sure that both of these boxes are checked once you're done you can go ahead and click ok uh, restart your system and you should be good to go finally if this doesn't work either it could be a chance that your display drivers might not be able to keep up with wallpaper engine now, depending on whether you have an intel amd or nvidia gpu you're going to have to use the corresponding utility i have the nvidia gpu so i'm just going to fire up the nvidia app head over to the driver section and then if you have any issues with the driver you can either reinstall it look for updates and make sure that you have the game ready driver if you have the studio driver that works better with creative apps like uh, premiere pro photoshop and whatever but uh, if you're playing games and if you're running programs like wallpaper engine game ready driver is the best way forward so make sure that you've got the right driver selected and that you've got it up to date and wallpaper engine should be up and running in no time if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you on the next video.